So we've all heard of physical therapy and we also know that it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But did you know that the two subjects often go hand in hand? Well, here to explain more is physical therapist Christina Penny. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. Okay, so tell us, how closely do you work with breast cancer patients to design a treatment plan that helps them benefit? So there's lots of different ways that breast cancer treatment uh, and physical therapy go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So it's thinking about how do you manage uh, things after surgery or with chemo radiation as far as improving strength and range of motion and getting them back to their daily function. Okay, so do you think that people even realize that that comes along with the breast cancer treatment usually? Not usually until they're actually going through these interventions themselves. Right. And so then how do you work with the breast cancer patients to improve their health, their fitness, and then daily function? It really depends on what their after effects are after uh, treatment. So mm -hmm. uh, sometimes with chemo radiation, people have what we call neuropathy, right. which is where they lose kind of sensation or strengthen their hands and legs, and we have to teach them how to rebalance themselves. Uh, you think about generalized deconditioning, where people are just a little bit weaker than mm -hmm. they were before. And then we're thinking about upper quarter, um, management with soft tissue injuries from right. like the breast surgery itself. Okay, so can you kind of briefly outline the types of physical therapy treatments that are then geared toward helping the breast cancer patients? Absolutely. So we're thinking about soft tissue management for the breast and scar tissue around those regions that they had surgery, sometimes mm -hmm. in the rib cage or in the arm or shoulder. Uh, we're thinking about uh, strengthening activities and range of motion to kind of normalize their upper quarter movement. And then we're thinking about generalized conditioning and balance training. Okay, so let's talk about the breast cancer surgery, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the side effects of the the surgery that you can kind of help people manage with the physical therapy? Uh, so pain is one of those things okay. where you go in and you cut the breast tissue, there's uh, pain associated with that injury, uh, scar mobility, uh, mm -hmm. improving strength in the upper body, um, and then we're thinking about um, just generalized uh, functional activities. Right, so how do the women kind of respond coming in and then getting help from you? Uh, it's really beneficial because mm -hmm. You know, after any surgery, especially cancer treatment, you're kind of a little low and a little down, and you really want to get back to your normal life. Right. And so how even before breast cancer surgery, how can physical therapy help? Um, so typically breast cancer uh, or physical therapy prior to breast cancer surgery isn't super common unless you have different comorbidities, such as, you know, maybe you're obese or a little inactive, uh, or you have other kind of conditions that might make uh, breast cancer surgery less optimal for you to function. And then we're thinking about prehab, just kind of increasing your strength and overall fitness. Okay, so what is prehab? So, <laughs> so prehab is the idea that you're coming in for physical therapy to improve generalized conditioning, mm -hmm. strength, and range of motion in those regions where the tissue is going to be affected. So someone who may have already a shoulder injury beforehand, for example, mm -hmm. might need to do strengthening and stretching to like prior to. Okay, so, so then if they have a mastectomy or some other kind of lumpectomy, the surgery, so then you would do it either on one side or both sides? Uh, you typically do it on the same side that you have treatment on. Okay, and so then what is the goal of physical therapy after the surgery and during cancer treatment, radiation, chemotherapy, and then how does it kind of help minimize the side effects? So the goal ultimately is to get them back to their previous level of function. Mm -hmm. um, so we're thinking pain-free motion, we're thinking about getting them being able to reach up above their body the way that they used to be um, and get them back to their normal function, whether it be that they've lost their balance after uh, sur surgery and chemo radiation, uh, whether they are, uh, you know, not as strong as they used to be. So it's all about getting them back to their prior level of function. Okay, and is there a time frame? Uh, no, because it really depends on the type of surgery that they mm -hmm. had, whether or not they had radiation, whether or not they had chemo. Uh, so that's very variable per patient. Well, still, it's super helpful to know that you know that that's even there and an option. I had no idea. Okay. So, where can people go to get more information about you and what you do? So they can go to the GBMC rehabilitation website, um, mm -hmm. and they can also also go to the National uh, Lymphedema uh, website. Okay, and I know we have all of that information there on our screen as well. Christina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, stay with us.